Hi. Now, what we've got to do next is to hence or otherwise find h dash x or h prime x, in other words, the first differential of h of x with respect to x, and give it in its simplest form. So if this is a question that you would like to try and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, do try it, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So it says here, hence or otherwise, find h dash of x. Well, if I'm using the hence version, I'd want to use this simpler form here. Otherwise, it's going to be differentiating each of these three terms separately. So let's start with writing down h of x then equals 2x over x squared plus 5. Now if we're to differentiate this, if we're to find h prime of x, okay, then I've got two options here. I could bring up the x squared plus 5 and write 2x multiplied by x squared plus 5 all to the power minus 1. But that's going to involve the product rule and the chain rule. And it's too much work. For something like this, we've got two functions of x being divided by one another, and it's much easier to use the quotient rule for differentiation. Um, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the quotient rule, but just very briefly, if you've got y equals u over v, where u and v are two functions of x, then dy dx equals v times du dx minus u dv dx, all divided by v squared. Okay, it's given with y here, but it makes no difference. y is our h of x. So using the quotient rule, essentially v is the denominator. So we take the denominator of our fraction, which is x squared plus 5, and we multiply it by the differential of the numerator. Differential 2x with respect to x is 2. Then we subtract and we take the numerator, 2x, and we multiply this by the differential of the denominator. Differential of x squared plus 5 is 2x. And we place this all over the denominator squared. So we square all of x squared plus 5. So that's essentially differentiated. All we need to do now is just tidy this up. And so what we've got here, if we were to, say, expand this, we've got 2x squared plus 10, and then we've got minus 4x squared. And again, all that is divided by the denominator all squared. There's no need when using the quotient rule, by the way, to ever expand the denominator. If we now Simplify the top, we've got 10 here minus 2x squared. So 10 minus 2x squared, and that's all over x squared plus 5, all squared. You could leave it like that, or you could take it a step further and factorise the top by pulling out 2, and then you've got 5 minus x squared, and that's all divided by our denominator here, x squared plus 5, all squared. And essentially, there you have it. Okay?